We are going to multiply a one digit number by another one digit number using the area model without the grid. So this is like a transition from third grade into fourth grade or one standard into another depending on the grade that it gets taught in your state or county. I'm going to draw a rectangle like I did in the last video where I represented area with a grid. This time I won't have the grid or the squares inside. I know that I'm going to represent four rows just by writing four and then I'm going to represent seven up here to represent the number that would go in each row. I'm just going to rewrite my rewrite my equation four times seven and at this point when students are representing their models or representing their equations with just the numbers and not anything to count they should know their facts by then so i know four times seven is 28. this is an introduction to using the area model with multi-digit numbers so you do want students to understand what's happening in here and why we're drawing this rectangle. We took it from an array or equal groups to an array to just representing area with the grid. Now we took the grid out so that they just see the representations using numbers. We multiplied a one digit number by another one digit number using an, a quick pick of an area model.